Alright guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an awesome comic book effect. Oh yeah, comic book effect. Oh yeah. Okay, so, what I've done, as you clearly can see, I've changed the background layer to yellow, and I've cut out an image like such. So, this girl layer had a white image background, but is now going to be yellow. So erase your background of your girl, guy, person, whatever, and cut it and paste it onto a yellow canvas, like you see here. Okay, you with me? Alright, so to make this look comic book-like, we're going to do a few things to make it look awesome. So first of all, you need to go over here in image, and we're going to work in grayscale for a few moments. Um, we'll eventually go back to RGB, but for now go to grayscale. All right. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to merge these layers. Do not merge your layers. I repeat, do not. Because if you do, you're going to screw up the whole tutorial. So, go ahead and click don't merge. And then click discard because that's we don't need the other color information. All right. You should see that. If you don't, then you obviously did something wrong, which probably meant you merged the layers. Okay. Okay, now um, we got rid of the yellow background, which is fine. We'll um, add the yellow background later, so don't worry about that. So go over here to um, uh, Image and Adjustments and click on Levels. Alright, you're going to change the last one here to 152. It's going to be a bit white, that's okay, that's what you need. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and go to filter and we're going to go to pixelate and we're going to create a color halftone now All right, and go ahead and add your max radius at 4 um, it may say 8 when you open it, mine says 4 we're going to leave it at 4, that's what you need Okay, and leave the rest, all these channels here the same, don't change those alright, click OK and you should see something like this alright, are you following me so far? All right, there we go. That's our dots layer. So we're now going to duplicate that layer, Control J or Command J, and I'm going to name this the dots copy. And the reason why I am going to do that is because it will get confusing momentarily, and you'll need to know which layers. Right. Okay. So on your copy layer, so now we're going to go back and change it back into RGB mode because we're good with that grayscale. So here we go, back, and do not merge these layers yet again, do not. And the reason why we had to do that is because when we're going to colorize part of this tutorial, you can't be in grayscale or you're not going to use any of your swatch colors, so. Alright, now we're going to go back up here to image adjustments, we're going to go to levels yet again on your dots copy, and you're going to go over here, change your in output level over here to that. Alright, it's going to be white, so what you're going to do now is you're going to drag the regular layer up here what the hell? No. Drag the layer 0, which is going to be your regular layer, above that. So you have white on the bottom and your regular layer on top. Alright, you follow me so far? Alright, we're going to change this layer now to multiply. And you won't see really much of an effect yet, but trust me, it's there. And you'll see it in the end, kind of, sort of. And you'll see why we chose multiply, because when we add the color on top of this, it'll give it the outcome we want. But if we didn't multiply this layer, you wouldn't see the awesome color. Okay, so you did that, right? Alright, go over here, and we're going to add a gradient, a gradient, solid color. And I'm going to choose a rather, uh, let's see. Alright, now I'm going to add this color here. I'm going to choose that one there, and immediately after doing so, you're going to go over here and add a that. We're going to merge that down, okay? So, what we just did is we added a clipping mask. That's what we added. We added a clipping mask. Wow. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name of that, but I'm really sorry, guys. That just wasted some time. Okay, we added a clipping mask to that, and when you add a clipping mask, what does that do? 
Well, it gets rid of the background of your image and leaves you with the color on top of a cutout image you may have cut out. So say you cut out a picture of a, of a star and you want to have that just the star, that one color. If you add a clipping mask to that layer, the layers below it will then get that color added onto them. So that's what we essentially did. We added a clipping mask to all the layers except for the background, which is layer one. Okay. Yay! We're almost there, guys. We're nearly there, but not quite. All right, so here's the fun part. We're going to add some color to this. So how do we add color to this? Oh, you want me to show you? Well, I will. All right, you're going to make a new layer above that color fill. And this is the layer that's going to basically be helping us through the rest of the whole tutorial. So you're going to need this layer for everything. So go ahead, and we're going to start with the eyes, and we're going to work our way throughout the whole thing. So grab your pen tool, because your pen tool is going to be your friend for today. It may not be your friend for life, but at least it will help you through certain things. So go ahead and mask out or select around the eye. I'm going to do this. Do, 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 do. And once you make your selection around the eye, go ahead and right click and say make a selection. You want to make your selection with a zero pixel radius because if you do a one pixel radius, it will be feathered and that will look ridiculous and not real. So go ahead and click OK and you're good to go. And you should see this little thing shooting around the eye, like a little thing going around and around. All right, go ahead and make that color white. And by doing so, just do an alt backspace or command backspace, control backspace, whichever works for you. I did an alt backspace and there's mine white. All right, that's the, that's the right eye. Now to the left eye. Do the same thing you just did on that eye, but on the left one. Make your selection. Okay, so you have your eyes colored the way you want, but we have to add the eyeball. So we're gonna do that a cool way. We're gonna use the elliptical marquee tool. Now with that, you're gonna hold down your shift key and holding down your shift key will enable you to make a perfect circle of your size you'd like. All right, so hold down the shift key and then drag out your circle to make the eyeball. I'm not going to make it too big, but, you know, whatever size works for you. And then go over here to your selector, your color selector, and select a color you would like for your eye. I'm going to choose a blue color because I think blue looks pretty good in this particular photo. But if you want to go for hazel brown or whatever, that's fine too. All right, that's the left eye done. Now to my right eye. All right, there we go. I happen to like that. Okay. Wow, I think my right eye is a little more or less proportionate than the left. Oh well, who cares? I'm just showing you this anyway. It's not like it's going to be given to somebody. Okay, so we've gotten the eyes done. Now we have the rest of the photo to go. Um, basically, we're only gonna. I'm only gonna do the watermelon, her dress, her bracelets, and her belt. I'm not going to do her skin because obviously you want to have it that color we just already chose. And then her hair, well, leave that alone because that looks pretty cool the way it is. So, I'm going to start with my watermelon. And this is all done on the same layer we're making. Don't make a new layer. That might just be confusing and stupid. So, reduce, reuse, and recycle a layer. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the inside of this here and I'm going to try and speed things up a bit and do this as quickly as possible. I may not do it perfectly but that's okay. It's just a tutorial. If I was doing this for real and I was going to give it away to somebody for money, making money off of this, I would of course be more proportionate and more careful. But being as it's a tutorial, I'm just going to do a job so you get the picture. Alright, I'm going to make a selection of a watermelon color. Uh, how do I know what color a watermelon is? Oh, that's close enough. All right. Yay. All right, that's the inside. Now I'm going to do the outside. Oh, joy. Oh, joy, she says. Oops. Yeah, and this can take you a while. <laughs> I'm just letting you know right off the bat, this isn't rocket science. It does take a while to actually create all of these lovely 
All right, you know what? We're gonna use the brush tool for this because I don't want to use the freaking backspace tool. Cause I have a feeling I'll make a mistake. So when in doubt, use your brush tool to make awesome outline. Yeah, you see the brush tool. It works for something. It's not just a brush. It also helps you create a Helps you get out of a mess. Yeah. Alright, well you get the picture. So there we go. There's my watermelon. Um, sorry that took so long, guys. Okay, now we're gonna go and we're gonna mask out the dress. Oh, that should be fun. Haha, <laughs> kidding. As you clearly see, she has a belt. It's gonna be a little hard to do this, so I'm gonna do the dress in two parts. But, you know, for your photo, you may not need to do it. Um, and if there's hair in the way, we're just gonna... And, um... Yeah, sorry, that's my phone in the background. Ignore it. I'm not gonna answer it. Alright, so yeah, that's my color that I chose. Um, let's see now, we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom part. Alright, and now I'm gonna do the belt. Because I'm a cool kid, and that's what cool kids do, mama. Alright, I like that silver color there, and now the bracelet, which is the last part of this. Alright. Okay, well, that's it. So, oops, well, I screwed up on the last part down here. Oh well, whatever. It's, you didn't really even notice it. Okay, so, there you have it. That's where we're at right now. Um, I'm actually going to fix this because it looks ridiculous. Because that would look stupid if I didn't fix it. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, close enough. So, once you're at this point in the tutorial, we're now going to go ahead and we're going to add some more effects to it to give it more of a retro-like effect. Retro com comic book-like effect. So, go over here to filter. And while you're still on that layer... Go ahead and add, uh, where is it? Artistic, yeah, artistic film grain. Go to artistic and film grain will be right there. All right, then you're going to make sure it says film grain at 306. Three for the grain, zero for the highlight, and six for the intensity. Click OK, and boom, there you go. Now, at this point in the tutorial, you can add a speech bubble because in some comics they add speech bubbles and it looks really cool. I happen to have a speech bubble already in my computer, so I'm going to be a cool kid and show it to you. Let's see if I can find it now. Um, I probably can't find it. Mm. Alright, you know what? It's not there. Oh well. I thought I had it on my computer, but apparently I must have deleted it or whatever. But anyway, you can just go on to google.com, type in speech, comic book speech bubble, add a speech bubble, and that will enhance your photo way more and make it way more interesting and way more cooler. Alright, um, in my final outcome, I do have a speech bubble on there because I did at one point have a speech bubble on my computer. So I did use that in my final outcome photo. Um, Alright, so... Once you are done with that, then you can then go back into your previous layer one, and this is when you can then add the yellow color again. Not sure why I added it in the way beginning, because honestly, you couldn't see it for a lot much longer, but yeah, in the end of it, I added a, I'm going to add this color here. Oops. There we go. Okay. That looks comic book-like when you zoom into it. And Yeah. That is the tutorial, guys. That's this week's awesomeness. Um, your your weekly dose of awesomeness. Um, I hope it was awesome for you. I hope it helped you learn something. I hope you got wealthy wealth of information out of me. Um, if you liked the video, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, subscribe anyway because you just want to have more subscriptions to look at when you're bored. And if you like this video, then like it. If you didn't like the video, well, you should like it anyway because liking makes you a cooler kid. Okay, well, have a fabulous week, and I'll see you next week. Later.